everybody. Today is a good day. I'm the legend, I'm joined by Molly, and we're in Copenhagen, Denmark, at the oldest amusement park in the entire world, Bakken, and I'm excited. We've been in Copenhagen for all of what, like three, four hours? And we're already at theme park number one on this trip. I'm sure what we Molly are. really wanted to do, but I'm excited. This is a park with like uh, six roller coasters, some wacky flat rides and dark rides, and they have like nine bars. So this is gonna be a very much, I think, a me park. Let's go check things out. Here is a quick look at the map of Bakken. It's uh, not an overly large park, and it seems like they pack a lot into a pretty small space. Big wooden coaster in the middle. Uh, Santa's apparently here. I know him. <laughs> and my favorite, I really hope these guys are walk-around characters, because look at their mascots, especially that very bizarre uh, clown mime, and his friend, a happy reindeer. The park's most famous attraction is Rusherbanen? I don't know, I'm assuming it's a big old wooden roller coaster. Old roller coaster too, I believe it was built like in the, the 30s, 40s, or 50s. I know it's really old. It used to have like a brake man on it, and it no longer has that brake man on it. It's probably it's one of those rides where it used to be a really fun ride, and now it's just sort of okay. It's definitely uh, magnetically braked to uh, very, very much, so it, it really doesn't do a whole lot of anything. But on the plus side, it's very smooth. I would say also for me, historical for me, my 600th roller coaster. And uh, Molly, do you want to talk about that tunnel towards the end of the ride? You mean the naked lady and you go between the legs? Yep, the naked lady and you go between the legs. Did not see that coming. No. That was something else. Let's go take a look at that. Yeah. All right, guys, so that, that tunnel I was talking about, it, it's, it's over there. And your coaster train goes in there. Won't see that in America. This roller coaster here is Mine Train Ulven. If I'm saying that right, who knows? Um, this park's Mine Train roller coaster. Actually, it's really good. Um, you can't really tell how long it is, but it's actually a pretty decently long ride. And then it's got like some theming elements too, like you can see going through uh, some rock work and stuff over there. Kind of weird, they're only loading like the first three cars. I guess it did rain earlier today. But I, it's good. This one I would definitely recommend. You, you know, not just to the coaster door, because that's a pretty cool ride. Goes for a lot of trees and forests and stuff. It's a lot more intense. Yeah, more intense. I agree. Solid ride. Tornado, which is my favorite ride in the entire park. It's an Intamin spinning coaster, and there are not many Intamin spinning coasters. I think this is the only one. This thing's intense, man. It um, it launches you. It, it kind of launches you. It's a fast lift, and then the lift sort of accelerates towards the end, and it's really forceful, fun. Flies in and out of a building multiple times. Uh, this ride's pretty awesome. So here's a closer look at those tornado trains. Really weird looking. The Wild Mouse is exactly what you think it would be. Park's Wild Mouse roller coaster. A couple of interesting things about it is that it's sort of built like in the ground. Like here's the midway, and this is a good 10 feet below the midway. Uh, the lift is enclosed, and then it's like into and out of a house a little bit. So definitely a little bit nicer than your average Wild Mouse. Pretty solid ride too. So I love it when parks do things like this. They've got a kid's spinning drop tower right next to their adult SNS double shot drop tower. Fine idea. Fun looking flat ride rampant down here is the power. Love the uh, like the design and everything. This here is the park's haunted house dark ride. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Um, it's okay. It's interesting because it does have some modern effects in there and then some very not modern effects. But uh, the best thing, there's at one point like a, uh, a horde of like five clowns with chainsaws comes chasing after you. So uh, that was good. It and seems then, a lot like a Halloween Horror Night type. That scene. That scene, yes. Like that would be something that they would buy from somebody at, you know, uh, a Trans World Halloween show or something like yeah. that. But, the rest uh, seemed the rest, more yeah. carnival. Yeah. Or some of them, like they had uh, screens like this, a couple of screens like this, which is very much another effect that you see sold at, you know, your IAPAs and your Trans Worlds and things like that. But uh, overall, I, I love a good dark ride, and uh, this definitely had some interesting moments. Also, with their, their dark ride haunted house, I love the cars. Like it's so old school. So here's what's Molly voted the most adorable ride in all of Bakken, the Kangaroo, and it's sort of a modern take on the, uh, the classic that's the Kenny one, and it is, it's just adorable. This is cool, Bakken has like go-karts, they look like they're bumper cars on this uh, indoor track, you don't move too fast, but uh, still kind of neat. 
guys, check out this kid's ride. It's like a convoy ride, but it's indoors and enclosed, and they've got crazy vehicles. Like you can ride motorcycles, uh, a moon jeep, and I think my favorite is the Flintstones car. That is, that's a cool kid's ride. Skyroller has to be one of the park's newer flat rides. It's a Gerschlauer ride, similar to one that's at Mall of America, or uh, or more like the one that's at Canada's Wonderland. Not a lot of people on it right now, but you kind of rock yourself side to side and you can flip yourself over. Definitely the smallest model of these that I've seen. So one thing about the Sky Roller is that they keep track of how many flips you've done. And it's sort of like a game, and then you come over here and you see, you know, who did how many on the last lap, what the high scores were today, and what the weekly high scores were. So uh, very much kind of reminds me of like a like Toy Story Mania back home. Except with more vomiting, probably. So Bakken's home to one of these. It's kind of like a, a mid-90s mall simulator, a traveling fair simulator. It actually shows Elvira's House of Superstition. So if you remember that, like it used to play during uh, Six Flags Fright Fest, um, it, it now shows here at Bakken in very poor video condition. Molly said it was looking at it like a Sega Genesis. And I'm saying it might be worse. But uh, still, uh, it was a good blast from the past for me. I rode that so many times when I was little. Good news, they do have a walk around deer mascot guy. Bad news, he's walking away and I can't get a picture with him. Also, Park has a pretty neat swinging ship. And a Chinese dragon kind of theme. So normally when there's nobody at the park, uh, me or Molly go on the rides to show you off. But not the water rides. And uh, this is kind of a little jet ski thing. You do control it with a steering wheel, so you're able to whip out or whip in. It's a pretty fun ride. They're not very common. Like, there's one at Adventureland on Long Island. There's a couple at the Legoland parks. But it's not really something you see very often. And this one's themed towards alligators. You sort of see an alligator up there in the queue. Not a real alligator, of course. But, uh... So the legend decided to go on this uh, sickening spinning coaster called Extreme. And if you know anything about me, I do not like spinning flat rides like this. So this is, uh, I definitely sat this one out. Um, but uh, he went on it, so. Looks like I would be sick. Very interesting. It's very interesting. It has kind of a fairish, like, theme with the background in it. But uh, there you go. That's uh, the flat ride. This is the weird carousel they have here. First of all, there's no fences or anything. There's a cage, uh, wacky looking horses. Horses that don't go up and down, but they go. Yeah, a big sleigh. Very different. And there's also like a dude. I, I, I'm guessing he probably moved at some point. Very interesting. Park has an old timey like max flight flight simulator. Looks like it'll definitely get you nauseous. We've got a couple of screen based rides back to back for you. You've got the Crazy Theater here, which uh, I, I think uh, wins the Bakken Prize for best sign. That thing is just completely like that'll haunt kids' nightmares. It's a uh, interactive shooting ride. You might have seen them around this side. Uh, a shot of the inside. We kind of ride on the back of a horse. And then right next to that is the 5D Cinema. The 5D Cinema is kind of neat because um, they show a lot of different movies in there. Like the family in front of us just waited two, through two or three movies. So if you got, uh, you know, little ones. And also it's kind of weird. It's like um, very much in the same vein as Shrek 4D, except if you were Shrek 4D was in an easy chair. Yeah. Uh, we saw a Glacier Race 3D, which was uh, kind of like if, if F-Zero took place on Hop. <laughs> I liked it more than Molly did. Yeah, you did. I think Molly would have much more enjoyed Castle Secret the Ride 4D with all those cute animals. Which I believe are the... that might be the mascot for Europa Park? I don't know. We should have seen. It was probably the next movie. Yeah. Guys, this is Safari, the park's shooting dark ride. And um, it's definitely weird. You kind of shoot fireflies the whole time. And it's not one of the shooting rides I like because you shoot all these fireflies and nothing happens. Um, but it's definitely weird. I can tell you I've never been on a ride quite like this thing. So one of the things Bakken is known for is they do a big uh, cabaret kind of show in this circus tent over here. 
and that uh, like there's not many people at the park today, but the few people that are at this park are here for this show. The park's only water ride, I guess besides that spinning ride, is uh, they've got a log flume over here. And uh, I love the lighting package on it at night. Like, it's, it's really snazzy. And Molly was talking earlier, like, almost log flumes don't really look good in the evening. No. And this one looks really cool. Like, completely not modern either. Like, very retro, which you would think for, like, you know, the oldest park in the world. Uh, one thing we are bummed about, we have not seen the Swan monorail ride go all day. Because that uh, essentially takes you around the top of the log flume there. But uh, also, it's cool how, like, the rides weave in and out of each other. Guys, that is a solid sign for the toilet. Your mascot, drop the deuce. Another crazy midway game here where uh, it's simply like roulette, and then you can win anything from hair dryers to obnoxiously large boxes of chocolate to razors. It's pretty wild. Yes. So time for some snacks. We stopped here at the uh, Waffle Fusit. And we're going with some churros, but the menu, everything looks good. Belgian waffles, churros, pancakes. Almost went for that. Uh, waffles with Grand Marnier. But went with churros with chocolate. Hope we made the right call. Guys, I think we made the right call. We got so many churros. So one thing I found interesting about Bakken, like they have plenty of arcade arcades, and then they have casinos. Like legit, you could go in and play slot machines and win money casinos. And that is uh, just something, something we're not used to. Nothing against gambling. I, I quite enjoy, you know, gambling on sports and stuff like that. But uh, just weird to see it in the theme park, like right next to the, uh, like the arcade games for kids. And then you got the arcade games for adults, the casino. The kids' rides are closed up now, but they were still kind of neat. There was a kids' roller coaster that adults could ride, as well as a little uh, Ferris wheel right there that the roller coaster goes directly underneath. Another wild looking, like kind of like gambling for candy game here. I guess you must bet on one of the horses or something. So Bakken sells tons and tons of ice cream and all of it looks amazing. Like there's three or four different stands and uh, this just looks awesome. A little too cold for me to do ice cream right now. This is probably a high 50s when we're recording this, maybe low 60s. But oh my goodness, it looks so good. Look at blueberry muffin. So Molly, what are your thoughts on this ride? Uh, not as adorable as the kangaroo ride, but pretty adorable. With Even the happy with, ducks. What about the naked bathing child in a barrel in the middle? That's kind of questionable, but the ducks are very happy and they're cute. So while we've been focusing on the pubs and bars of Bakken, there are also a million different restaurants here. Um, there's also no admission charge to get in, like, so if you, you just want to come in here and uh, wander around for an evening of, you know, tasty treats and uh, fun restaurants and pubs, you can just come over here to Bakken. So we're having so much fun at Bakken, I actually forgot to get footage from one of the roller coasters. This roller coaster here is named Racing, and it's a Flitzer model, which is these really small little roller coasters, but they pick up good speed. We actually don't have any left in the United States, I don't think, and they're really fun. So uh, if you're going to Bakken, definitely give it a try. Bakken's home to like an old-timey funhouse, the MS Herlompe. I love the exterior though, you got the big fisherman guy who, who moves, you got the ship that moves right there, and then you got this uh, giant bottle of rum spilling out. Let's take a walk through the funhouse, which is, you know, an adventure to not break in the loop the camera. Well, this moves more than I thought it would. Oh, they have been here uh, keep the glass. Yeah, they did. They did. You're, the pub glass had to stay outside. Uh, do you know what that's interesting? The, the thing moves on the stairs as well. And the stairs move. But only like every other stair moves. My camera doesn't want to focus on it. That's that's what happens. So, uh, man, that's, it's trippy. Very trippy. Uh, 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 all right. Oh, and now we are on a, a rocking ship segment. This nice captain gentleman wants us to go this way. Oh my! That's fun. I can definitely see why the guy told me, watch the camera. 
And now we're in a tilted room. Nothing's moving in here, but there's actually like legitimate stairs. Oh, that's tricky. Yeah. I love some of the concept art here, and there's more stairs, like sideways stairs. On a tilted floor. Yeah, on a tilted floor. It's really wild. And there's happy rats. Nope, there are more funky stairs here. I've always had been kind of fascinated with fun houses, and we really don't have that many in America. Oh, that actually works. And then more wacky stairs. We're gonna have to go in straight here. Uh. Oh man, I thought this was a mirror. It is not. You climb through this thing. Okay. And into a room full of barrels. Well, this doesn't seem too fun. It's just a room full of barrels. Does the barrels have rum? I don't think so. Uh, there's a floor. I guess there's supposed to be like a rat down there. Kind of hard to make out. All right, no, not one of the better rooms in the fun house. <coughs> Molly! <laughs> All right, let's see, we got more pianos. A tilted bar. A parrot. More stairs. Into a suspension -y bridge type thing. A pretty big room. Okay, I'm definitely not climbing in that hole. I'll take these stairs. What is what is going on over there? You think, Molly? <laughs> okay, we're going down some stairs instead of going through that cave of doom. <laughs> so you hit that button. And the birds talk, like like picky birds. Uh. All right, I don't know what any of that means. There's a dude. Careful, be careful. Whoa! <laughs> oh man, this might be my favorite part. A wacky chef kind of guy. Smoking a cigar. He's happy you didn't get pants. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's she's struggling. She's she struggling a, she a lot of skin. Mainly uh, legs. Yeah, that's true. She she does not skip leg day. No. Good for her. Good for her. <laughs> Alrighty. It looks like we're now on the back side of that big room. You know, this is a lot longer than I thought it would be. I did not think this was that big of a building. What do we got? Oh, that, that tunnel of doom is actually a slide. That looks kind of fun. Uh, Molly, you gonna go down the, uh, the, the hole here? No. Nope. No. So, uh, the legend decided to take the pole? I, I wasn't very good at the pole. I mostly just kind of jumped down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so this section, you have a big moving uh, floor. Better look at that slide. And we move to another door of fun. Beer and roller coasters. I love that you do this at Bakken. For about 129 krone or roughly 20 bucks, you get to go on the Bakken Old Tour, which you get this sweet souvenir glass, and then you get to go to the nine different bars here. And each bar, you get to have a different beer. Pretty fun. Uh, this bar is the uh, the plain bar. Nothing too exciting or interesting, but they do have a, a bunch of different types of beer. One interesting thing here at the plain bar, you get a little fire pit. 
And then it sort of overlooks a uh, Jeep ride for kids. It has like garden type seating. Yeah. All right, so this is the bar. And it's got moving animatronic chickens. Uh, this is actually a cool place. Like everything is 25 kroner, which is really, really cheap. So you can get cheap beer, cheap uh, mixed drinks, and cheap food. So there's also this thing in the bar. So we're still here at the 25 Kronen bar and we ordered a uh, Frito sandwich. I don't know what this is. I'm really hoping it's not fish. It, it looks good. Uh, Molly, are you gonna give it a taste test? If I don't like it, I'm just gonna drink my giant beer here. Figuring it out, it is. I have no idea what it is, but it's good. <laughs> More weird stuff in the back of this bar, like it's all like antique stuffed animals and teddy bears and stuff like that. And then there's this, what I'm guessing probably used to be a game in the park and it's now just a bar top, but it actually moves. Interesting. So this might be the coolest pub on the pub tour here at Bakken. It's the London Pub, which is in a side of a double-decker bus. It's so cool. This one's next up on the beer tour. These two happy sausages welcome you to the next bar. Looks like some uh, pretty decently priced beer. Yeah, a beer in a shop for 40 crown. Next up on the beer tour is Old God, which definitely looks like one of the larger uh, taverns here at Bakken. Next bar is Bach Cronin. Uh, looks like there's nobody in there, but I uh, love the look of the building. So cool thing about this one, he's pulling out the big one. Look how many different beers are at this bar. And it's crazy. It's like beers from, you know, all over the world. Like, I was shocked to see, you know, the Brooklyn Brewing Company has a bunch of beers over here. Inside another bar here on the beer tour. This one's fancy. Candles, lighting. I love this little cottage thing over here. If you're a fan of draft beer like we are, Hoolin might be the one you want to go to. Because they have so many beers on tap. Look at this. The taps just go on and on and on. There's even more taps over here. And you get like giant liters of beer. Well, my friends, that'll do it for our time here at Bakken. And I quite enjoyed it. You know, it's a very quirky park, I think is the best way to describe it. You know, uh, I love doing the beer tour, you know, and that, that's my souvenir from this park is gonna be this really cool. And I like, there's no souvenir stands here, so like, to get a, a beer glass like that. Uh, interesting collection of roller coasters. Uh, out of the stuff in the park, Tornado was definitely my favorite ride. Um, but a really cool place to come and spend an evening. Very, very different. You know, and that's something I wanted. This is our first, first of like 12 parks on this European trip. And this, this is a park that felt very, very European. You know, very different than what we get in America. Very uncorporate and things like that. So I quite enjoyed it. I, I had a blast. Also, I'm pretty reasonable to get in here too. Uh, 219 chrome, which is like $25, I think, yeah. somewhere around there. So not too pricey. Uh, Molly, what were your thoughts on this one? I agree, it's not corporate at all with no, no air yeah. gates. And uh, I love how old school it feels too. Like, yeah, it's weird though, for the for being like the oldest park in the world, outside of the wooden roller coaster, they don't have any really old rides. Yeah, it does that feel a little modern. Yeah. But like overall though, I feel like, maybe because I'm not used to European parks, just, yeah. It kind of seems more uh, old timey. It does. Like, it kind of feels like Knobles with beer. Oh, 100%. Yeah, it's Knobles. So if you like Knobles, check Knobles, it out. The rides are probably better at Knobles, I will yes. say that. But uh, they don't have beer at Knobles, and here there's beer everywhere. Yeah. And uh, weird dark rides and uh, interesting stuff. So I had a blast, you know, a good start to our trip. Uh, tomorrow we're off to Tivoli Gardens and a whole bunch of culture stuff for Molly. Culture stuff. Yeah. And then I get to go to the theme park and drink again. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about Bakken, let me know in the comment section below, uh, preferably in English. 
and I might be able to answer them for you. Thanks for watching, everyone.